Hello beautiful Sagis, welcome back to the channel everybody. I want to thank you so very much everyone for all your subscribes, your likes and your comments. No, it's truly appreciated. I'm going to pull on some numerology here. Sagittarian energy, what's going on for Sag? Messages for Sagittarius spirit, what about Sag? Compassion. Domestic harmony, adventure. Huh, it's looking like effort is here. A relationship change, moderation, and spiritual career. <clears throat> Sagittarius, it's looking like somebody wants your compassion. There is some relationship change. You may have a spiritual career or you've gone to the universe or following spirituality here. There is some kind of effort being made to have domestic harmony and compassion here. So there could be a relationship change which is coming up. Or that you have surrendered this person or they are surrendering someone to be with you. Let's find out. Sagittarian energy. Well, they are hoping you're going to be compassionate to them or they are compassionate about you. Hmm going on here hmm right now this person is feeling angry reflecting trying to work through their feelings they want to go for it, Saj. They've gotten a bigger picture. Well, I know Sagittarius has. Focus on the positive. Keep your heart open, Saj. Push through any insecurities that you may have Sagittarius. Jeez, there's a lot of fire in these reeds. Aries, Sag, Libra. Balance. Keep your heart open. Everything in moderation here. Hmm. This person is angry. They did not put in the effort. You know, they didn't put you as a priority and now they're angry. They want to go for it, Sag. Sag energy. The first house. Teaching and learning here. Jupiter is returning you <laughs> benefits. It's like a revolution. See? Hmm. Saturn, Jupiter. See, there's that. Hmm. Sagittarius, this is somebody tried to provoke. They're revolting. They're angry. They're angry because they thought they had you in the bag. They thought. 
you would never escape and now they're pissed off they're angry at maybe a gemini they were provoking this person to leave you and now they're angry now because they've acquired a south node karmic debt low vibrational energy whoever this person was dealing with they were provo they're provoking this person they were provoking this person to make them leave you so you can't make anybody do anything you know They're revolting against whoever this person is they're dealing with. Doesn't have to be a Gemini energy. It is just that duality. You know what I mean? This person, that's the duality. So they provoked this person to leave you. And now this provoker is provoking your person. Because they're either telling me that they have escaped this um, third party or that they will. Because you are compassionate and empathetic. <laughs> and you've taken, uh, you've moved on. And now this person is in high drama. Starting drama. What's going on here? Hmm. Yeah. They're heartbroken that you've moved on. So whatever drama this person tried to start in your life, Sagittarius, maybe they were trying to provoke you. Maybe this person just thrives off of drama. They're manipulative words. They're angry and heartbroken because you have moved on. They are angry because they have learned who their Ten of Cups was. So they're finding out the truth that somebody was just starting drama, manipulating, causing heartbreak. <laughs> The person who is shit disturbing in this union See you're very empathic, you're very charismatic, you are a leader, and I think this energy really provoked someone around your person whoever was instilled fear and now are feeling the repercussions of their actions learning a lesson so this person was trying to go to someone else to get guidance and they misled them they listened to somebody very a drama starter so someone was provoking this person to start drama with you there was a provocative energy around your person 
It could be a masculine. It could be a feminine. But whoever was starting drama, they now have a bunch of trauma. Because why? They listen to the bullshit <laughs> about you. You were this person's rock. You were this person's mentor. You were this person's strength. Okay? You're moving forward. You're progressing. You were very generous and kind to this person. And they started forming conclusions about, about you. Got defensive. Communication, hoping you're going to understand. You inspire this person. That's that spiritual uh, awakening. You may have a spiritual career or your focus has been on your spirituality. And you have a solid foundation and this person is very insecure. Okay? Hmm. Again, comes out of Gemini energy. So, someone was being dishonest to this person. They were only starting drama. Now, it could be a masculine or feminine energy that this person listened to. They were a drama starter. And have caused nothing but a bunch of drama and trauma. That's why they're angry. They have found out the truth. That the words that were communicated to them were dishonest. Well, there you have it. Why listen to other people then? I don't even think that this person... Sagittarius even give you the dignity of hearing your side of the story. I really don't. <coughs> they want to talk. You were very understanding. They're hoping that you're going to understand. But the things that this person was the understanding about you. They listened to drama. Okay. They listened to somebody who is very insecure. They listened because they were threatened by your relationship. Whoever this these people are. Person, people, it doesn't matter. It was a duality. It was... They listened to people who listened to gossip, distorted the information that they thought that they had about you. And this person is now angry at these drama starters. You're over here. Ten of Cups, Temperance, you're inspired again. They've accumulated a South Node life death. That's the truth. This person has gotten the truth. Of you're stable. You're moving forward. You're confident. You're strong. And I think this person wants your understanding. They're going to try and like talk to you about whoever these people were. They're going to tell you that, oh, they're just starting trouble. They were just starting drama. Well, why'd they listen then? They're going to tell you, I see clearly now. I know the truth now. Truth is, they acquired, you know, a bunch of baggage. 
since you have walked away or left this person's life or have they left your life they did it because they refused to see fear they let fear get in the way now it's like you're being blessed and now they want to come toward you and offer you some a second chance yeah see the third party has lied to them backstabbed them um the rumors this is gossip listening to their friend group or trying to thinking that these people were their best friends or something like that whoever their friend group is or the third party is they were instilling fear and drama talking about you there's a bunch of gossip and backstabbing going on yeah pulling the wool over this person's eyes told you they're novices the karmic this, these are karmic friends, karmic lovers, whatever it is. This is someone, the karmic, trying to gather facts. They're novices. They're inexperienced. They're the, you know, throwing caution to the wind here immature reckless behavior that's who they listen to could be an aries i don't know but it was a karmic a karmic friend or a karmic lover so these people figured they would spy on you immaturely make up shit about you and now they're finding out that these friend groups were lying and that's why they're angry. It was for financial gain. Hmm. It's caused this person to choose another path. So that's King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. They could have earth placements in their chart. Acquired now a life debt south node by listening to these karmic friends, lovers, whoever they are. Immature, rash, rash behavior. Somebody's friend group might have said, oh, Sagittarius is backstabbing you. I overheard this. I learned this. It's a bunch of bullshit. I don't even think that this person, yeah, and now they want to come, they've acquired a karmic debt. Now they want to come back around for a new beginning. To who? The star, the one who has followed their destined path. You're over here, you could be into spiritualism, you could be into reading tarot, or any of the you know, the divine arts here. You're fulfilling your destiny. There is temperance. You're balanced. You're patient. New beginnings. Hmm. Mm. So...
it's looking like this person wants to come back around to Sag and have a new cycle with the past person. Now that you followed your destined path, see, this person was destined to be in your life. But uh, there is some mistrust here or some kind of, yeah, someone told this person, started a bunch of drama. Trauma. They should not have trusted the advice of this person because all it did is cause them a bunch of trauma. Okay? And a heartbreak. On your behalf as well as this person's behalf. Why they listen to this and now that they found out the truth, they're hurt. That these were secrets and lies, illusions. You know what I'm saying? Starting drama. This king of swords here, whoever is a friend of the king of wands or the king of pentacles, whoever this king of swords is, started nothing but drama, lies, causing trauma and heartbreak. I don't know who the King of Swords is in your particular circumstance. It could be this person's friend or a family member. This King of Swords is a drama starter because they did not want this King of Wands, Aries Leo Saj, to acquire more than what they had. Just saying. Now we have Queen of Swords. So we're masculine or a feminine or a couple got together creating drama in this King of Wands life inadvertently affecting your life. <clears throat> King and Queen of Swords. Cold, bitter, angry, provocative, drama. And now by listening to this drama, by listening to this it's created nothing but they have acquired a south node life debt. <laughs> and they separated with the Queen of Wands. Causing all this bullshit. Tower. Told this person. End it with Saj. Separate from Saj. They were being unjust. Whoever this king and queen of swords is. They are obviously alliances or someone in this King of Wands friend group told them to end things with you. They did. They were causing drama. They were causing trauma, heartbreak. This is maybe what they told your person about you. confusing them and then they turn around and denied that they even started any drama they just in denial oh 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 well I didn't say that oh no it wasn't me they're they're doing the blame game blaming each other whoever this king and queen of 
of swords is. They're just passing the buck, blaming each other. It's the good cop, bad cop. Oh, I didn't say that. They said that. No, I didn't say that. They said that. They lost a golden opportunity. Because you've developed into the Empress. Look. Fruitful, abundant, loving, nurturing, compassionate, understanding, patient. You were patient with this person. You were empathetic toward this person. You were very loving and compassionate to this person. Understanding, very patient, very tolerant. And now they're regretting being with this other lover because there's some bullshit going on there. And maybe that's what who they went to. A trauma starter. A drama starter. Somebody recommended this person go to this third party. And all they've acquired is a South Node life debt. That's the truth. Karmic's friend, you know. Somebody's friend told them, go get another lover. Go sneak around, you know. There you are. Spiritual career. You chose the spiritual path. <laughs> she who knows. You cannot fool High Priestess. It is signifies she who knows. Very intuitive, very, very spiritual, very intuitive. Knew that this person was sneaking around with another love. Friends with benefits. Maybe while they were at work. Yes, work. They were doing friends with benefits with someone they worked with. They were sneaking around saying that they were alone. Or maybe this person doesn't know how to be alone. So it's either friends, co-workers, or people that this person works with. They were listening to drama starters. They were listening. They themselves brought this upon themselves. So I can't blame everybody else. This person was sneaking around. And maybe co-workers or people at work heard about it, knew about it, started some drama. They could have lost a job. People at work manipulating. They may have chosen to leave work. You may have chosen to leave the job. I don't know. It's just too much bullshit going on here. Uh, somebody starting drama. Somebody's being provocative. Uh, egging this person on or egging you on such. Hmm. That's why this person started juggling. Confusion. Trying to decide. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> they went to a drama starter. Someone who was lying. 
And now they're heavily burdened by those lies. Those are mind games. Whatever this person was waiting for or searching for, all they brought on themselves was ten wands, a south node life debt. By listening to this, these liars, this is someone very controlling, jealous, envious of your connection, of your love, because this person saw you as their true love. That's what it's saying. And now this person wants their true love back. Hmm. They're reaping what they've sown. They're thinking about their soulmate and why you walked away or thinking about walking away. They're sitting here They want to come back around. They're angry that it's ended. Why? Because you've got financial stability? This person saw you as their happiness? Loyal, dedicated, honorable, trustworthy, empathic, happy? Could have had the Ten of Cups. Solid, stable, single, abundant, confident. They've acquired a South No debt by being greedy and selfish. They're still holding on to you. They see you as the end all be all, Sagittarius. So this person, I don't know, this king and queen of swords here. They went to someone highly dramatic. They're involved or were involved with someone very dramatic. Talking shit on Saj. But they find out that all this was to control them because this karmic was jealous of your connection. Ah. Oh. And there was other people around this person, just saying, who's talking shit about you, Sagittarius. But the bottom line is, they chose to do what they chose to do. They Do they want to come back around? Oh yeah, because all they've done is acquire um, a bunch of life debt. That's the truth. They knew you were, they're hoping you're going to be understanding because they want to come toward you. The, whoever these karmic energies are, they're very insecure. Forming conclusions about Sagittarius causing trauma. And now they're getting the repercussions of it. See? Drama starters. Spreading shit about Saj. This person may have left a job or something or caused you to leave a job. Whoever these energies are that are around your person, the one who's on your mind, are very skilled at starting drama. Very skilled. They appear to be trustworthy. They appear to be understanding. They appear to be compassionate. This is a friend group. The whole while, they were stabbing this person in the back and stabbing your relationship in the back. Yet they appeared to be trustworthy, intelligent, wise, 
They went to like a friend group or a friend for advice of what they should do. And this friend deliberately manipulated them for their own gain. Well, now they're revolting. This person was just a drama starter, a provoker in your relationship. Now they're seeing the big picture. You're focusing in on the positive. Spirit's telling you to keep your heart open. Because there is somebody coming toward you that's going for it. Going to take the leap of faith toward you. Yeah. They should have reflected on what their priorities were. Why are you busy listening to the damn advice of other people? Like, this person has to accept some kind of accountability for their role in this Sagittarius. They listened. They could have listened to drinking buddies. Friends, you know, oh, go do this. They went to someone for advice and they misled this person, but they have got to take and accept accountability for their own actions. They acted upon it. Oh, get, get a new lover. This will really piss off Sag. They'll come chasing after you. You know what I mean? Let's start a little drama here and a little competition. You know, what would it hurt? Foolish, immature advice. All this person had to do is come to you, Sag, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. You would have told this person, you know, the absolute truth that you were always truthful with this person you gave them wise advice you were like their best friend you did not mislead this person so now wherever they've gone to this other lover situation they just sit they're cold as hell uh this karmic energy just starts trouble drama they lie about you they lie about their own situations to get a dramatic effect on this person. They're always going through some type of trauma or drama. And the person that they chose over Sagittarius they're kicking their ass because they've acquired a, a life death, a karmic death. Talking shit on Sag, talking shit about Sag, lying. It was because they were jealous of your union, jealous because this person loved you. Why did they ever listen? What are your priorities? Spirit was saying. So you got to prioritize. Are you going to listen to your friend group? Are you going to listen to some jealous ex or lover? Or are you going to listen to your true love? They had no reason to mistrust you. None. Do they want you back? Yes, they do. And then, to get top it all off, when this person confronts them about the lies, they deny it. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, no, it must have been so-and-so. They're finger-pointing. Oh, I didn't say that. 
I didn't say that. I didn't. They deny it. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh. Foolish. Absolutely foolish. Now this person wants to leave the karmic. Come back to you, whoever these karmics are. Friends, family members, lovers, it doesn't matter. They have figured these people out. That's why they're feeling betrayed. Well, what about their own actions? Like they've got to accept accountability here because it was their own actions that did it. Nobody else. What are you going to say? Go jump off a bridge and they do? I mean, come on. They got to be accountable. So spirit is holding them accountable for their actions. That's acquiring a life debt. Take care.